Essentially, the factors of a number are all the numbers that divide into the number exactly, i.e. without a remainder. For example, let's find all the factors of 20. We start off at 1, we see if we can multiply that by something to give us 20, and well, it's obviously 20. Then we go to 2, we can see we can find 10, which gives us 20. Then we go to 3, and on this occasion we can find no whole number that when multiplied by 3 will give us 20. So here we can write no whole number to give 20. Then we go to 4, we realise we've got 5 that will multiply 4 to give us 20. Then we can go to 5 and we realise that can be multiplied by 4 to give us 20. So we can see that here we've gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we've looked for numbers that will multiply each of these in turn to give us 20. And we found out that in this position we in fact could not find a whole number that would give us 20. Now we could find a fractional number but that's not part of the process. We are looking for whole numbers, and we can't find a whole number that will multiply 3 to give us 20. What we need to consider is this. If you have a look at this column here, we can see that that goes from 1 to 2, 3, 4, and 5. And what we're attempting to do is to see what we can multiply to give us 20. And what we'll note here is that we can see that 4 has appeared twice. In other words, we have a repeat, and that tells us when we stop doing this. We stop at this point when we have written down a figure more than once. And in this case, we've wrote 4 down more than once. So at that point, we know we discontinue writing what looks a bit like a times table down. Now, what we can see here is that this particular row, we have 3 and we've tried to find the number to multiply to give 20 and we can't. So we discount that, that's not a factor. And then you simply highlight all of the other figures. And here we can see that I've highlighted them all in turn. And of course, 4 and 5 we've already highlighted once, so we don't need to highlight those again. So the factors of 20 are all of the ones that I've highlighted above. And they are, of course, 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Let's look at uh, another example. And what we're going to do now, we're going to find all the factors of 36. So we start off with 1. 1 times 36 is 36. Then we go to 2. And we can find 18 gives us 36 when we multiply it by 2. Then we can find we actually have 3 times 12, which is 36. We also have 4 times 9, which is 36. And then we write down 5. Now, in this particular case, we can find no whole number to give 36. Then we go to 6, and we multiply that by 6. And that gives us 36. And now we can see we've repeated the 6. So when we have a repeat like this, we know we stop writing down what looks a bit like a times table. Now if we look at this row, we have 5, and we couldn't multiply it by a number to give us 36. So we discount the 5. And then we highlight all of the other numbers, as you can see here. We had 6 twice, so I've only highlighted that the once. Therefore, the factors of 36 are all the numbers above that I've highlighted, which I'm writing down again here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. So they are the factors that make up the factors for 36. Let's just do one more example. Let's find all the factors of 25. So 1 times 25 is 25. 2, cannot find a whole number to give 25. 3, again, cannot find a whole number to give 25. And likewise for 4. But then I can end up with 5 times 5 equaling 25. We then get as far as here, and we can see we've repeated the figure, in this case 5. So we know when we have a repeat of figures like this, we stop. We try and not find any more numbers. So for this row, we ignore the 2, we ignore the 3, and we ignore the 4. Consequently, we're only interested in the other figures, which is the 1, the 5, we've got 5 twice, and the 25. Therefore, the factors of 25 are what we've highlighted above, the 1, the 5, and the 25. And that's it. That's how we find factors of numbers. As straightforward as that.
Of course, you don't have to do all this highlighting with circles like I've done here and crossing numbers out, but I've just done that to make it easier for you to follow when I'm going through the workings. Also, I realise that to be able to do this, to find the factors, you have to know your times table. So I recommend if you're struggling with times tables, you should uh, have a go at uh, learning them rather than relying all the time on calculators. <laughs> 